what is up guys welcome to the fifth episode of this series let's hop on into it the winter just came upon us i ended up deciding on sending my people back out to find resources we don't have time to keep my uh my main guys inside i'm going to return this one girl inside because she is uh she's injured but the other three i'm about to send out because i just don't think uh i don't think it's a good idea to keep them in when we need more resources and it's so important that we get more resources people are suffering from hypothermia we accepted that crew that just came in but because we accepted them we didn't have housing yet and the winter storm came upon us so i'm hoping really hoping that we can hurry up and finish this housing and then get them inside for now we do have medical facilities to try and treat these people but it's it's not looking good i gotta be blunt it's not looking good man i'm a little nervous a little nervous we're gonna try and get everyone going soon the burners aren't big enough there's people suffering i hope these people can help me out here but let's start heading out see what we can find around the map us we need to find building material asap but there like is none i don't see any like in the immediate horizon even out here there's one one jerky guy i don't Firewood would be nice. I send one for firewood. I guess we'll send another guy, like, for that. You're my last one. We could send you, like, over here and just search that area. Health is depleting quickly. No. Guys, please. Just finish this. Clean water can be hard to find, especially in dry climates. Bore wells are drilled as deep as required to tap into water reserves, which allows placing them on any sort of soil. Oh, that's interesting. Not sure if this is helping me at all. We have to figure out a way to make ourselves more efficient. I think that's what we need. Okay, wait, I'm supposed to gather this. I'm, I should have read this out loud. Unlox outpost deep, uh, depots uh, used for establishing and maintaining an outpost on the world map. Expanding your colony's influence past its borders is essential for the colony's survival. Outposts allow Specialists to drop off resources without traveling back to the colony. Why don't we have bartering yet? We need to get both these. If we got these, that would help a bit. Not with, sadly not with what we're currently struggling with, which is heat. Really, heat. We just need someone to grab that cement and toss into that, that item there. But we might just have to say good riddance to those people, honestly, at this point. They might just die. Which sucks that we accepted them in just to die, but... Can I build another tent? What does a tent require? If a tent requires... Tent doesn't require that. Oh, I can pop up a tent. Is it within the burner range, though? Hold up, I, can, I got all the resources for a tent. Which will will save two of the three, two tents. It's gonna be a horrible looking map right now. We can reorganize it after. Whoa! No, oh, I misclicked. Hot oh, sticks. If we finish both these tents, at least those will give them a warm place to sleep. Right near the burners. Perfect. And then... 
then next one, we gotta do bartering, and then we're also gonna do that. And now no one will freeze anymore. Local bandits seem to be on the move once again. They are looking to enhance their arsenal and raiding nearby military camps. This could be a chance not only to stop them from gaining strength, but also to claim their findings. Yes, please. Where's the, uh, where's the military camps? Oh, jeez. Yo, you're on the move, lady. Also, you're heading back out. Where, where are you? We're getting people moving. We're not going to keep anyone on this map. We got to get everyone moving over. Let's move. Easy win. You? Let's get you out of there. Oh, you have to finish, I guess, your day there? Alright. Colonists should not be suffering from hypothermia. There should be no one homeless, and everyone should be within a... Good, she went inside. Boom, baby! Let's go! Let's go! We have survived. Yep. We're, we're on our way. Bro, you got this. You got it from your mama. Got it from your mama. Got it. Got it. Got it. Nice job. Alright. Nice. Bro, you better win that. Alright, I'm gonna send you up here to go get that jerk. Is that a... Oh, that's the military base too? Are they strong? I don't know if they're strong. Well, you gotta go over there. You still searching? Yeah, you still clear. Oh, you can't do it this turn? So there's two more. We just gotta clear, which shouldn't be too tough. I can't find any more concrete. It's really, it's, it's actually a struggle right now. Luckily, no one's dying on me. No one has hypothermia. Everyone's okay in that sense, but it's definitely an issue with uh, that. Researching bartering, which will give us a trade center, which should be extremely useful because we can start trading with locals and get the resources we need because we're producing, at my opinion, enough resources. The real issue is we're not producing enough of the resources that we need, um, if that makes sense. So to kind of elaborate on that, we produce so much like plastics and steel and we've been collecting so much in the in the world and stuff but the issue is is that go eliminate them i just don't want them on my map i think they're they're ugly just kidding or are they it's definitely not a good look rope Insects. Scavenge cockroaches? That's what you want to scavenge? Wait, this is pills? Antibiotics. That seems huge. How's your health? Your health seems okay. Ooh, we're getting kind of beaten up. She just ain't all that strong, eh? We win here, but geez, this was a lot tougher than it should have been. I don't know if I wanted to go, I wanted to go like help, but I also don't want her to freaking die on me. I think I'm going to just trust her to eliminate them. Wow, that's a new guy. Look at that mask. That's a new dude. Bandit lair. A lair of bandits. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I got that. I get how that works.
We need to figure out where to get more concrete, though. I think we're almost out of concrete, like, as a material, unfortunately. I'm not sure what we're going to do to get more concrete, but we're sure going to need to figure that out ASAP because concrete is essential for us to build most things, and we just don't have any right now. Very, very unfortunate situation. I clicked the wrong thing. What's... Wait, what's this? Unlocks garages. Unlocks vehicles. Wow, that's kind of cool. But I actually think this is better, so let's research that. Now then, bartering, though, can we... We should probably make one of those, but I'm assuming we probably don't have the, the resources to make one. Second. Wow, wait, I didn't even realize we, we researched something to do all this. Wow, that's a lot. A lot of, like, water stuff. Um, We need a trading. Yeah, we need... Here's my issue. I don't want to mess up my farming. I kind of want all farming in one location. So, mm, i got to move some stuff around. Or do something about this, because this map stinks. I have been have not been doing a good job at actually organizing this whatsoever. So I guess we'll just put it here for now. And what's this? Yeah, that's not very efficient anymore. I, I kind of wrote way off me. A lot more efficient. Um... Building material. Nice, that's good. You have six moves. Let's move. What do you need? That's so dumb. She hasn't searched this area. That little sliver is where they are. Can we beat these guys? I'm going to try, but. We have 25 to their 15, but. Oh no, man. We got a lot more to lose than they do. Okay. I know we have insufficient materials. We have to figure out where to get more of that. Wandering merchant, thank God. No. I wish we could do that trade. That's a good trade. Looks like the storm has passed. We survived a nuclear winter, guys. It looks like we have made it through. That's very cool. Wait, they heal? She eliminated them in one shot. Okay. You're back. Welcome back. building material. Oh, wait, to be fair? No, we haven't unlocked it yet. Upgrade form of campsite. Provides a good resting place for specialists as much as... 
shelving. Yeah. Weapon crafting. Uh, yeah, I should probably find out where we can do the best. I'm trying to figure out where we can make ourselves resources. Probably where it should have been a long time ago. Um, yeah, this is what I should have been doing. So we should go up this route next, which produces extra everything and gives us more worker slots. All right. Well, I guess that's what we'll do next once we finish the outposts there. And then I need to bring everyone back anyways because everyone's exhausted. It's been a uh, long trip for everybody. Putting out all those bandit camps. And hopefully we can find concrete somewhere. I just don't know where. No, you haven't finished, you haven't finished. You're obviously done, come back. Outposts, outposts can drop off resources your specialists have gathered. Be careful when placing outposts because demolishing it will get rid of the outposts in the world map. Makes sense. We have five carriers, so we're actually wasting like five people. Oh wait, we finished our research there on uh, outposts. So now we switch over here, grab this, grab that. Which will just increase overall production. Then we get both these and this, which will increase production of the other things. And we now have weapons too, which is kind of sick. We got some real guns. A bandit at the gate? A man approaches the gate with a hefty backpack bursting out the seams with blueprints, measuring sticks and other items. Measuring sticks and other items. There we go. Uh, he has all the unusual bandit trapping, but is acting is acting in a very unbandit-like fashion. Oi, oi! Might I address whom's in charge, your master builder, and ye better... Okay. He wants to give me... Ask something more exciting to trade. Do I look like a dealer of flesh to you? Me? I'm an honest man. I'm just wanting to make my mark on the world goodbye. The bandit's visibly upset by the inquiry and sets off on a brisk... I don't care. We could have... Eh, that was an issue. I really don't care, man. I, none of those items I really wanted. Now, if they had... If they had stuff that we could have used... They really didn't have anything we could use. Oh, we just need concrete at this point, which is like a very boring item to need, but it's what we need, so. And what they were offering was not that, so it's it's fine. And we never found concrete on the map, which is annoying as heck, man. I, We've searched a lot of areas, too. Look at all the stuff we've searched, and not a single one has concrete. Tools actually could be, but excluding that. And there's no concrete on the map anymore, I don't believe. We have to look further out, I guess. I don't know. It just it kind of stinks that like it's not going well because we just had concrete. We could build all the sick stuff. double up the amount of people we can have on stuff instead of having five like traveler worker people we can have them reduce drastically by putting two people on each of these which would be exactly what we need to do because we are still clearing out these but we're clearing them out so quick we got a specialists are ready i misclicked but it wouldn't be go here you done is that 
gold coins? What is that? A hundred... Oh. Currency. You... Coins world used in trading. Oh. Huh. Used in trading. Hmm. So I guess once we start actually doing like real trading, that's what you'll use for it. So it kind of appears to me. That'd be cool. Yeah, food is like not even remotely a problem. We actually produce so much food. Look at that. Like food is... Yeah, it's not an issue at all. It's awesome. I think the double trappers actually might even be excess. I'm losing my hair? Well, great. You're irradiated and in my camp. I love to see it. I almost have that trading outpost done, though. We just have to find those last couple building materials. It doesn't... Someone's at the gate. Hello? A man approaches the gate dressed in a beaten old trench coat, burying his face inside a large hood. He remains tight-lipped uh, about his exact origins and motives, but offers to join the colony and help working uh, as a scientist. He's constantly looking over his shoulder. I don't think we need more colonists until we get more... Look, I'm just hungry, eh? Um, all right. The wanderer protests as the gate closes before him. He turns around and heads back into the angrily kicking pebbles aside as he leaves. I don't need your sketchiness in my in my camp. I'm not sure how un if you consider that guy if you guys consider that unethical. It might be slightly, but you know what? Okay. I don't think we don't need his kind here. Ugh. Sounds worse saying it out loud. Um get everyone kind of working together here we now have a lot more people clearing up this space which is going to be good yeah we still can't finish that till we maybe we should just cancel this for now get the materials back will that actually get us the materials back do i cancel oh it does get you the materials back oh perfect okay so now we can actually finish these items i think there was 12 in there ah uh, we're not able to finish anything with 12 as long as we get some of the concrete back, we'll figure out what to do after, I guess. I don't know. That, that kind of sucks. If that guy wanted food, I would have just given him... You should have just asked for food and not to join the call. I really don't care about giving people food. Food is like our least worrisome resource right now. But, guys, that is the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of this series. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It really means a lot for you guys all watching it and supporting the series make sure to like comment and subscribe it really helps the algorithm and all that stuff i really appreciate viewership and support and i will catch you all next episode i'll see you guys